reviews, unboxings, tech unfold news, all here at Oiwoka, so sit back, relax and enjoy. Okay, this is a video showing you Android 2.2 um, Foreo running on their HTC Desire. And I'm going to go through some of the features that you get. Okay, right now we're on the home screen. This is different from the one that came with it, the H that has HTC Sense. This is just a bare operating system. And doesn't have any UI on top of it. Okay, there's some changes in the OS. Um, down here, here displays the how much um, home screens you have. So if you want to change it, just keep going across. Here we have a call button which takes you straight into the dialer, which is very smooth. Next one is the menu, and the next one is the internet browser. And also, if you hold down the menu button, it brings up. Uh, five tabs which you could just uh, jump to different home screens and this doesn't have the leap feature so you can't pinch to zoom or anything on the home screen next you know it's got the same things as you'll get on any Android phone you got the widgets so you could get any widgets and just put it there and also here you can see you got the marketplace widget that shows you the all the featured um, applications that you can download and it's just flashing through them as well and you still got your all your other widgets as well okay next if you click on the menu you, you can see that it goes to a 3d menu system so you has this nice um, 3D effect and it's very smooth when you're scrolling and this basically shows all your applications the same as you know all the Android phones I'm just gonna take a quick look and show this is running Android 2.2 on the desire another feature that I wanted to show you was if you tap the search button down here it brings up the search but if you click um, here you could choose whether you want to search everything on the phone web marketplace contacts or you could choose to search the webs any websites or just applications that you have installed or on the marketplace and your contacts next we're gonna take a look at some flash content on here so I'm just gonna load up my um, YouTube channel. Let's let that load up. And I'm using my 3G connection, and it should load up straight away. See, it runs very smoothly, and the adverts load up as well. When you zoom in, you do get a bit of a lag, but it still shows fine. And you do all get adverts and everything, so everything runs smoothly. You can still play, pause, double tap, zooms in. So, you know, flash runs on here quite smoothly. Uh, I'm going to show another video. This video is at the from the BBC. Just letting the BBC load up. Going to see how smoothly it runs. Really load up a flash video. See everything runs smoothly, the voices are in sync, but sometimes it can be out of sync, but it doesn't happen all the, all the time, and it's always very smooth. And you can see that it's running fine on here. I was going to try find another game, um, another website. I 
Okay, it's loaded up the website. It's gonna pick a flash game. Let's try this one. Turn into landscape. Tap on it, and it goes into full screen. And you just click play. All you have to do is just tap, and you can see it runs very smoothly. I haven't got any issues. And that runs smoothly. Um, next, I'm going to show you the marketplace, show you some of the new features that's in the marketplace. Just a few new features. Take this for example. As you can see, you have it's divided into two bits. You have about and comments. And the about it has all the information about the application, pictures, how much memory it takes up, and you can view more applications, the usual stuff. But they divide it into a two bits. So the second bit you have the comments. And if you see a comment, you could tap one and you could say whether it's helpful, unhelpful, or spam. So, those are some of the changes. Next, if you go to your download section, um, you could tap into an app and you could click here automatic updating. So, you don't have to keep going back to it and updating it manually. You could just click that button and it automatically update. If, without you have to worry about it and you could do that for any application as well and also if there's multiple applications there will be a button down here and you just click update all and it will update all the applications for you automatically yeah now I'm going to show you a demonstration of how you could send web links okay now I've got this set up all you need is to add an extension onto your Chrome or Firefox browser and download an application to your phone and that's all you need to um, do to be able to send any web links uh, videos or map directions directly to your phone I want to show you once you install it you should have a little button up here that has a little phone and an arrow pushing down to it so what you do is click this and if you keep an eye on the phone, it should just send it straight to it. It's right there, it says sent to phone. You get a notification and it sends it directly to the phone. And you could view the article that you want to look at. And say if you want to send a video, you find a nice video that you want to send. You could just click the send button, it sends it directly to the phone in a few seconds you get a notification you say whether you want to view it by the browser or the YouTube application you click it and it starts loading the video and the last thing that I wanted to show you was app, um, applications to SD so you could save your applications straight to your SD card um, So you can see these are all the applications that are saved to the SD card. So you can just tap on the application and you just press move to phone and that moves it directly back to the phone. And you press it again, you can move it directly back to the SD card. And that's basically how it works. But it doesn't, what I've noticed about it, it doesn't transfer everything. The whole application only transfers part of it to the SD card, but it still saves space on your phone and it still works pretty fine. And that's it. You can see overall the this was imported um, to the HTC Desire, and the uh, ROM itself is very fast. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube videos. Thanks for watching.